Today we're making a simple and delicious dish, za'atar potatoes. These potatoes are roasted, so they're lower in fat, but they are loaded with flavor because the Middle Eastern spiced za'atar that I'm using. Welcome to Kat's Vegan Kitchen. If you watch my videos, you know my favorite recipes are the ones I learned to make from my Lebanese grandmother. But I actually learned to make this recipe from my mom. My mom was a fantastic hostess, and I promise you, if you serve these at your next dinner gathering, they will be devoured. If you're not having a dinner gathering, don't worry. My husband and I ate the entire plate during the test run. Stick around to the end and make sure you solve the great debate in my household, to lemon or not to lemon. Remember, if you love this video, hit that thumbs up button so you never miss a recipe. Let's get started. For this recipe, I'm using mixed baby potatoes. Make sure you rinse your potatoes really well. We're going to leave the skins on for this recipe, so scrub them to make sure you get rid of any dirt or residue on the potato skins. Make sure you cut your potatoes into uniform sizes. For these baby potatoes, I either cut them in half or thirds. I recommend if you're not using baby potatoes to use a yellow fin or a Yukon gold or maybe a red potato, but don't use russets. They won't taste as good. Put your potatoes in a bowl. To that, you're going to add two to three cloves of finely minced garlic. Now we're going to add two tablespoons of a high quality olive oil. I'm actually using a Lebanese olive oil for this recipe. Next, you want to mix the potatoes with your hands. That way you can make sure they're well coated. We're gonna salt our potatoes to taste. The way I do that is I sprinkle salt on the top. I mix them really well and I sprinkle again. There are very few spices in this recipe, so don't be stingy with the salt. We're gonna spread our potatoes out on a baking dish evenly so they're not touching each other, and we're gonna roast them in a 425 degree oven. We're gonna put our potatoes in a 425 degree oven, and we are going to let them bake for about 15 minutes, then we'll toss them and add our za'atar. My potatoes have been cooking for about 15 minutes, so now it's time to toss them and add our za'atar seasoning. Za'atar is a fantastic Middle Eastern spice blend made with thyme, sesame seeds, sumac, and other herbs. It gives the potatoes a wonderful earthy, tangy flavor, but it's also really good for you because these sumac and oregano and thyme in the blend are anti-inflammatory and may even boost the immune system. I buy my za'atar in bulk from the Arabic market down the street. Now I know not everybody has an Arabic market in their neighborhood, so if you're looking for a traditional Lebanese za'atar, I'll link one in the description below. Remember, you can always find the full written recipe also in the description below. I put the za'atar on now and not at the beginning because we don't want those herbs to burn. I'm gonna put my potatoes back in the oven and bake them for about another 15 minutes. I'll know they're done when I can put a fork through them and there's no resistance. Let's finish baking these and I'll show you my favorite way to serve them. These potatoes are so versatile. They can be a delicious, healthy snack or they can be a great side dish to any main. I cooked my potatoes for another maybe 15 minutes and now I'm gonna show you my favorite way to serve them. I love to top my potatoes with a little bit of fresh parsley and some vegan feta cheese. For this recipe, I'm using Vio Life vegan feta cheese, but any vegan feta will do. Here's the great debate. My husband loves to squeeze lemon on top of these potatoes and eat them that way. I love to eat them just as they are. If you make this recipe, let me know what you prefer in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time on Kat's Vegan Kitchen. I'm supposed to finish this now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs>